Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. And today in the Bible Bistro, we are looking at Psalm 25, verses 9 through 11. If you have your Bible, why don't you turn there with me to Psalm 25, and we'll read this together here in just a moment. I'm going to read again today from the King James Version, and then I'll probably make a few comments out of my own translation here in uh, in Psalm 25. This is a wonderful passage. It concludes... The first half, at least for our teaching purposes, the uh, the psalm here uh, in 25. So next week we're going to pick up with verse 12, and we'll go through verse 22. So 12 through 22 next week. But today, 9 through 11, let me read these for us. The meek he will guide in judgment, and the meek he will teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth. Unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. Notice again that we have path, we also have way here. He will the meek will he guide in judgment, the meek will he teach his way. Remember we're we're discovering, at least here in the first half of the psalm, what the way of the Lord is. Truth, salvation, loving, kindness, mercy, goodness, uprightness. We've already had those. And today we're going to see in verse 10, all the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth. So mercy and truth are repeated here to such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. So the covenant and the testimonies are also a part of his way. But notice that it's path here in 10. And as I as we were looking at verse 4 earlier in the week, I remember I said that here we have paths and way mentioned. So two different Hebrew words uh, mean path practically the same thing, but he uses them poetically here because there is a there is a way of the Lord. There is a, that's really the best word to use, I think. There's a path. One of the commentators that I was reading, an ancient commentator that I was reading, makes a difference between way and path. It's easy to know the way, but the path is something that has to be taught. We can acknowledge and affirm a way and say that we're on this way, but his path, that's a smaller trail. That's something that has to be shown. He has to lead us down his path because it's not something that we can just know easily. But the path is more of that narrow way. He leads us in that. It's a, it's a footfall. You know, it's just a footpath. There's no marker. There's no concrete. There's no stones that mark it out. It's just his path. And he's, he knows the way through it. He has to lead us in it. And so in verse 10, all the paths of the Lord, he's going to describe these paths now, mercy and truth. Unto such as keep the covenant and the testimonies, that's part of the way, keeping the covenant and the testimonies. You have to have that before you can make your way to the path. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon mine iniquity, for it is great. Yeah, and David's speaking here from a human perspective, isn't he? When he says, my iniquity, it is great. But is he talking about his iniquity when he says it is great, or is he talking about the Lord's name? Well, I think from the human perspective, he's talking about his iniquity because he sees that. And that's ever before him. He's He tells us that in Psalm 51. But I think from the Lord's perspective, the Lord's name is great. And, you know, we think our sin is so mountainous that nobody can climb over it. Maybe even the Lord can't get past it. No, friends, his name is so much greater than your sin. His mercy, his truth is so much deeper than your iniquity. Don't ever think that you've done so much that you exclude yourself. You have not. You have a very high opinion of yourself if you think that your sinning has kept you from God because he is far greater than any of your iniquities. His blood avails to the uttermost, as the song says. And thank God for that. All The name of the Lord, he pardons iniquity, for it is great. That is the name of the Lord. Of course, David's saying, you know, mine iniquity is great. And he says there in verse 11, also we have this the doctrine of grace right here again, for thy name's sake. It's not for my sake. It's not for my merit. It's not for what I've done. I haven't checked off, you know, my little box, my little bucket list. I've not ticked all the boxes. 
and handed it in and said, here you go. And the Lord said, okay, well, I'll do this now. No, he pardons us for his name's sake, not for our sake. He does it for his own glory. He does it because of his own love, because of his own mercy and truth. He does it for us, not because of us, you see. So he does this for his name's sake. He pardons iniquity. And when he says it is great, I just still want to say this is the name of the Lord that's great. Iniquity, it's bad, but it's not that deep. The Lord is the one who can pardon all iniquity. There's, there's no reason that we should ever fear that. Well, join me again next week. We'll begin in verse 12, and we'll take, us, we'll take ourselves all the way down through verse 22 here in Psalm 25, the first of the alphabetic psalms here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.